You don't have to be a chef to make great food. As long as you have a passion for all that's good and great people to share it with, you're good to go. A lot of legendary cuisine was built on the foundation of love, and love is why I do this. I want to share my knowledge so that you can take it with you and make it yours. In turn, I hope that you can make good memories for the people you care about. So get out there, have fun in the kitchen, have no fear, and most importantly, live. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of The Aimless Cook. My name is Jay. Today, I'm going to show you a recipe that we can do really quick with some leftover rice. So I had some leftover brown rice that I had from the night before and today I'm going to do something really nice and hearty with it. This is a Japanese recipe and it's called Zosui. It's kind of a like a kind of like a konji in a way and typically this is usually made when you're eating uh, say shabu shabu or sukiyaki and you get to the end and then you just pour the rest of the rice in and you make this wicked kind of porridge. So today I'm going to show you how to make it right from scratch. We're going to do it really quick and you're going to love it. Okay? So if you're ready, let's get to work. Start by heating a large pot with a liter of dashi. To that you're going to want to add 4 tablespoons of sake, 4 tablespoons of soy and a pinch of salt. Now while that dashi mixture is coming to a boil, slice up one and a half cups of fresh shiitake mushroom. Okay, now once your dashi is boiling, just add your shiitake, turn down on medium and let it cook for about five minutes. Okay, now once your shiitake is cooked, all you're gonna do is add one and a half to two cups of your favorite leftover cooked rice, brown or white, your choice. Now what you want to do at this point is just stir it gently and make sure you warm that rice through, breaking up any of the clumps. Okay, so while our rice is warming up, uh, I want you to get two large eggs and we're going to beat them well. Okay, so you see what I did there is I gave it a really good stir to give it that little whirlpool effect and now I'm just going to pour in my beaten egg in a circular motion just like that. And what I'm going to do after that is I'm just going to slap a lid on this and let it cook on low for about three minutes. Alright, when my three minutes are up, I'm just going to take this off the heat, keep it covered and let it stand for another three minutes. Okay, and it looks like we're ready to plate it up. Wasn't that easy? Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. It's nice, it's not too thick and not too thin because the egg is perfectly done. So what I'm going to do is, if you have any uh, fresh chives or negi, chop them up and put them on top. But since I don't have any of that, I'm going to use the shichimi togarashi because I like it a little bit hot. I'm going to put a little bit of that on. Let's give her a try. Itadakimasu. Mmm, it was very good. Very good and very simple. So, try this recipe out at home, have fun in the kitchen, and until next time, take care. Bye for now.